You're probably familiar with the notion of significant digits from high school or from physics. Significant digits are one of the things that I really emphasize in statics for this semester. Because of the notion of precision, as you've, you've gone along, somebody no doubt mentioned to you that you can only know your answer to the precision that the information is given to you. So if somebody measured how long something was with a ruler, you're probably only going to get it to plus or minus an eighth of an inch, to maybe a sixteenth of an inch. That's your accuracy. Anything you do with that number past there is not going to be any more accurate than the inputs you put in. In engineering, we rarely know anything to much better than point plus or minus two percent, sometimes plus or minus point two percent if we're you know, being careful. If you're willing to spend a lot of money, then you can get highly calibrated equipment and laser measurements, and you can keep those up with the accrediting boards so that you're paying to have them inspected and recalibrated on a regular basis. Um, that kind of qualification scheme works great, and you can get these numbers to much smaller, but they're still there. One of the ways that we're going to actually make sure that you're keeping that in mind is by asking you to use three significant digits in your answer. Now what I mean by that is, well, these are all examples of three sig figs. So 303, 30.3, 3, 10, if you want to have 100, put a decimal after the end of it, that's, that's the three significant digits. You will see books that will say use four if the first number is a one. I don't think we need to get that complicated. All I want you to do is use three all the time. What I'm doing there, I'm, I'm hoping to do anyway, is to get you to the practice of thinking about the precision of your answers. If you're not in the practice of actually thinking about it, then you're not even likely to ask the question, where did this number come from? And in a way, the textbook learning that you're going to be doing for the first bit of your engineering career is a terrible way to actually start you with that because you're not going out into the field to take the measurements. I'm giving them to you in a problem. So what I'm asking you to do is to practice thinking about this by using three sig figs in all of your answers. It's just one extra tiny step, but it gets you into the habit, I hope, of thinking of where these numbers come from and how well do I know them. Um, units, of course, we're going to need units in all of your answers as well. To keep this level of precision in your answer, you can't round at every step to three sig figs. You can only round at the end. So all the way through your, your problem, if you're going to write down a number and type it into your calculator again later, you need to keep at least five significant digits until you get to the very end and then round. So that will be how we do it this semester. We will keep five all the way through. We will round to three at the end. And if anybody asks you why, you need to know that it's because of the precision to which we normally know the, the numbers in engineering.